Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on GIMP. I usually don't do tutorials like this because I'm not a professional in this field, but I do want to show you guys how I make my thumbnails and stuff like that. And I just want to introduce you to this awesome software. It's completely free. You can just download it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to install the software. And once you've installed it, just, you know, click next multiple times and then, and then just run the software by clicking on a shortcut or something. And once you do, it's going to open up and it looks something like this. Now, don't be scared. I know it's a lot of things, but don't worry. Okay, I'm going to explain everything. So this part right here, actually, I don't use at all. So just don't worry about that at all for now. These right here are your main tools. These are the things you're going to use. And we're going to come back to that later. Let me just show you how to import a picture before we start. So all you have to do is, you, let's say we have three pictures. And I want this one to be my uh, bottom picture. Or if I don't, I can just change this. So let's just pop all three of them inside. So one thing you want to know is, uh, let's press keep. You can press keep or convert it doesn't really matter so now I've imported three pictures but now the problem is I've imported them on each separate thing and if I import them like this I can't edit them how I want you want them to be visible right here so one thing you can do is you can just drag them right here or you can just import them differently so I'm gonna uh, exit this I'm gonna just exit all of this okay and I'm gonna drag the first one first all right and there you go now that it's loaded and I'm gonna drag the rest of them on top of that one so just drag both of them uh, you can convert or keep it doesn't really matter it, it depends on the quality of the picture but we can just press key so now you can see that they're stacked right here on top of them so now i'm going to introduce you guys to this thing first because this is going to be pretty relevant for you because once you drag this picture above these that acts basically as like imagine if you have three papers and on them you have these pictures and if you put a paper above a paper this is what you see so let's say that we put the meta split above that and then we're going to see it like that but as i said i want this one uh, this picture to be base the mountain ones uh, so i'm going to put these on top of that so the first thing that i want to do is i want to move around the pictures and i want to learn how to zoom stuff so you can you can zoom stuff right here but that's silly so you can just use your mouse control and uh, just slide your mouse and that's how it works so one thing I want to do is I want to move these pictures so I can see clearer uh, the picture under it so let's say I want to move the Pepe picture all I want to do is I want to click the button right here or you can press M uh, the M is the hotkey for this button if I'm not wrong so just click on Pepe and you can just move him right here and you can do the same thing for Metasploit and sometimes you can click it like this as you can see I'm still moving this one so all you have to do since you're already in that layer so all you have to do is just press on the other layer uh, which is the meta split layer and just move it like that so that kind of solves a lot of your problems so make sure you remember that keep in mind what you have selected here there's also another thing with selection which confuses people so if you you know if you panic you just uh, just go select I think this is the third one select and just press all and then press nothing or stuff like that and that should solve the problem for you if you have some weird dragging or selection problems right so let's say we want to take this Pepe picture let's click on it and we want to remove the background right so all I have to do is right click and we can add alpha channel so when we remove this uh, this this blue background it's not gonna be white like it would usually be if you remove it from the picture so instead when I remove it it's gonna be transparent so that's what the add alpha channel does you can also remove the alpha channel but we don't want to do that for right now now you can see that I'm deleting this but this is really annoying I don't want to delete the whole thing it's annoying I picked the eraser thing uh, instead of that we can just pick something else we can use this magic tool right here or you can press U, or you can right click on that and pick selection uh, judging by the color and you can press that and it's gonna pick all the the blue color from the picture but you don't need to do that you can just use this magic one just right click on this to pop up this menu use this magic thing magic one thing and now it picks a certain selection in our case this is the color so if I if I press delete while selecting that as you can see everything seems fine now I want to delete this uh, little blue thing in between his hands as well so if I just press this you can see that it selected well I delete this and delete this one and there you go if the edges are too rough for you a little bit you can use the blur or something like that let's say I want to use the blur I'm gonna right click right here and you have the this mixing thing or whatever or you can use the blur and sharpen or a brighten and darken so I'm gonna use the blur and sharpen and now how you use it is if you want to blur it it says it right here at the bottom you can see click control for sharpening and click on the screen for making it blur so now if I do this you can see that nothing happens and the reason that it doesn't happen is because my selection is weird so I selected this so all I have to do is I can select nothing and now if I do it now you can see that it works so make sure you keep that in mind a lot of people get confused about that at first when using GIMP it's really not a big deal you just have to get used to it so anyways you can also bind the keys and it's gonna be way easier for you so now I blurred this part out and it looks a little bit nicer uh, he still looks a little weird 
and there's a lot of uh, these blue things on the at the border so that's maybe why we should have used the pick by the color thing but it doesn't really matter so there we go we have something and now let's say we want to make something more shiny or something so if I right click I can use the the brighten thing and I can use that so uh, again read the thing right right next to the pixels and stuff like that you can see that it says uh, use control to darken so if I can contr press control and, and draw on the screen you can see that it darkens it I can just press control Z uh, to undo this or you can just go edit undo but it doesn't really matter and, or we can just press to you know brighten it so let's say we want to brighten his eyes or something it doesn't really matter right so there we go it, they're a little bit brighter this is just I'm just showing this for no reason basically so let's pick the mixing thing or I don't know how to translate this but you're gonna you're gonna notice by the the hand symbol thing and if I use that it, you can actually see that it kind of like uh, makes a, a weird blur thing and it, we can use that as well and the difference is you can like it can go way more far than the blur thing so yeah that's also useful so anyways let's now move this picture in the corner because I don't really need this right now so I'm just gonna put it right here let's say it's too big for us so I'm gonna scale it the way you scale it is you have this symbol right here they're sometimes confusing but you're gonna get used to them pretty fast so don't worry about it so let's press this symbol right here it says scaling you can also right click and pick the custom stuff but I'm gonna say scaling right now we can also rotate it and that's pretty easy to do so just click on the picture after you click to rotate uh, so this thing appears and this thing will pop out and you can just use this or you can just click on the picture and you can just drag the picture however you want if you don't like this you can just press return the way it was and that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna right click and we're gonna say scale so if I click on Pepe I can just drag him and make him a little bit smaller and I can scale him and there you go okay so now let's go to the meta split part if I pick the meta split thing I'm gonna do the same thing with the backgrounds that I mentioned I'm gonna take the magic thing remove the background and as you can see I have the white thing but that's nothing unusual because I can actually just add the alpha layer so there we go and if I delete this right now it's gonna look way better all right so now this looks very messy and I just want this logo right here so what I can do is I can select everything or I can just select this specific part so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this square thing it's gonna help us pick or you can use the elliptic or you can use the lasso tool which is way more useful and all I have to do is select it like this and I can use Control X or something like that it doesn't really matter to copy it into something new but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna do the selection with lasso just to so show you guys how lasso works so I selected this already so that's gonna mess things up so I just have to unselect this and there we go uh, the third thing and then just say nothing so how lasso works let's see so I'm just gonna pick parts that I want to select let's say I want to select it like this let's make it a little shaped up although I don't really need to do that but you know so now that I closed it it will make us like a thing around it and now you know that it's selected so I'm gonna press ctrl x to cut it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new layer if you press here you can make a new layer and I'm just gonna say yeah and it's gonna be a transparent layer and I'm gonna control V to paste it and now wait before you do anything because otherwise it's gonna lock you down so you can see that you have some like warning here by the colors or whatever so what I want to do is I want to press this symbol right here at the bottom which will just make it stay in the new layer so that's what we're gonna do and we can actually delete the old layer so if I go uh, delete layer there you go we have the metasploit symbol itself now you can see that we have some weird things around it so we're gonna remove that since we have this layer selected if I use the eraser thing I'm not gonna erase the background picture I'm just gonna erase the meta split picture and as you can see my eraser is being a little weird you can see how it erases with with like some sort of a fade so what I want to do is I want to go right here uh, here's where I can actually resize it let's make it smaller and let's pick its sharpness and we can actually specify the sharpness of it and we can you know make it delete uh, in a little bit better way so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna make the size a little bit smaller and I'm just gonna delete this and as you can see it deletes pretty well right now so that looks pretty good for me uh, let's say I want to change some colors although the quality of the picture is not great so as you can pretty much notice this part is actually for the tools it can also be for some sort of phase of colors it can be for the fonts it can be for some patterns and for some shapes so if I want to delete in a specific shape I can just pick a shape right here uh, also you can notice these but don't get confused by these so if I you know just write them like this that's gonna be a problem but if I use the pen the regular pen and I just put them like that I can just copy many of them so that's pretty cool if you want to use that but anyways I'm not gonna confuse you with that uh, so let's go back to what I wanted to do so I'm gonna pick the selection and I'm gonna drag this into a corner or something or as you can see right here it looks a little weird but I'm gonna control an S I'm gonna make this way bigger and don't worry about the the box size thing it doesn't really matter so that's because we made a layer like that and now it doesn't seem to be visible but all we have to do is press M for moving and just move it back wherever we want to so so let's say I want to put it right here but I want to go back 
to the top layer and I actually mind that it kind of covers the mountain so I'm gonna pick this layer take the gum thing oh yeah I picked the goat shape so I'm just gonna go back to the round shape and I'm just gonna delete a little bit of it so it looks kind of more natural and as you can see it looks like it's behind of the mountain uh, I'm gonna control Z because I deleted too much there and there we go so now what I want to do is I want to set this specific layer and I want to go to colors right here and I can pick uh, temperature balance whatever these are all sorts of things you're gonna use uh, pretty cool stuff I'm not gonna explain them each one by one because there's really no point so let's go to temperature and now we can change the temperature of the color and as you can see it looks a little bit more natural right now now it's blue now it's red but I want it to look something like this that should be pretty fine because it looks way better with the background and I'm gonna put it like that and let's press ok and that applies it and let's go back to Pepe and let's do the same thing so let's go to colors uh, I don't know maybe exposition or something and now we can actually make Pepe be looking really really weird and we can put this brightness thing to the top and make Pepe look like I don't know this and then we can go back to colors and do whatever we want mm. You can also do color correction as well and let's do the contrast thing and let's just drag that out and now our Pepe is fluorescent or something. Let's leave it like that, it doesn't really matter, I just wanted to show you guys how to do that. And now one thing that I also use a lot is the writing, so I'm just gonna press the letter sign and just throw them right there. Select something and start writing, so let's say add a exploit because there's an M. The problem we have is it crosses the mountain again, we're gonna fix that later. Let's say we want a color, let's say blue, okay, is it gonna be too... Yeah, it's kind of ugly, but it doesn't really matter. So let's see if I if I put it like that. That should that should be better. All right, and we can also change the font. If I go right here, I can change some stuff right there. I don't have to go to this tab. I can just click here, and you can pick a font that you would like. Let's say Sitka. All right, and we can reduce the size in the pixels. We can uh, bold it. We can uh, make it italic, uh, underline it, whatever you want. Okay. So again, if I go back to this layer, I can actually just move it up a little bit, and now I can zoom it in where the mountain is being cut. I can just pick the eraser thing reduce its size because this is too fat and I can just erase it like that and that should be fine okay so that looks pretty cool doesn't it I mean obviously the color doesn't fit but it doesn't really matter so there we go that's the thing that I wanted to show you that's a pretty cool pretty cool thing they can do now let's go on to the second photo I'm gonna cancel all these changes so the second thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to try something with some people so if I google uh, I don't know popular people and if I go up to the images Alright, so anyways, I can't find a better picture, so I'm just gonna pick one of these pictures where we have multiple people. For example, this one, I, I guess, I don't know. I'm gonna uh, save this picture, and I'm gonna open that picture. I'm gonna open that picture, just drag it right in, and I'm gonna keep it. We're not gonna convert it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you can do. You can also just shape off some things. You can crop right here. You can use the lasso select. This is another select. This is the replace. You can also align it to fit. You can also deform things, so this is an interesting thing. Uh, let's reduce the size to a little bigger and you can actually make uh, things more deformed so that's pretty cool you can also hold control and then do it you can also deform things and you can make them like a little bigger i suppose like let's say his nose let's make this uh a little smaller so just like that and now this looks a little bit unnatural because a uh, really pixely picture so I can make uh, these eyes pop out like that so anyways that's my point let's right click on that and we can also see deform by cage I think I said that well so what, what this does is basically you can uh, select I should have picked a better picture this is very low quality you can select a certain part of something like let's say like this and kind of like that okay and now we can press one of these nodes when well, once it's connected and just press it and just drag it a little it. you can drag it by a certain shape and you can drag it towards where you want so let's just leave it like that it doesn't really matter so we ruined her teeth there you go so anyways uh, we can also we have this uh, can thing you you know this from MS paint it just has a certain place that it can fill up while the color is the same so you know like something like this we have the pen we have different sorts of pens we have a gradient we have the cloning cloning is pretty fun now let's say her eye so all I have to do is uh, first pick her eye and it's gonna say you have to pick the the source image first so I have to hold control and now it's gonna layer it out and now I can let go of control and I can just press it whatever I want and you can see that I'm gonna make her have a couple of eyes now obviously you wouldn't do it as clumsy as I did right now so we just select a certain part and then you would make her have a lot of eyes from some reason uh, you can also clone by holding just holding the mouse and it's gonna clone towards the other thing so it, I don't know if you have this thing right here and you're dragging it right here you can see 
that the other eye will get cloned here as well. So let's say I want to make her have multiple eyes like this. Uh, we will do it something like this. Okay. So anyways, we have the this thing, which I already explained. I have never used this, so this doesn't really matter. We have this thing. This is just for picking colors. You already know that. Uh, this is for measuring. And this is for zooming in and out, but we don't really need that. Because as I said, we, we can just use the scroll thing. So anyways, with that, we've covered the basics for making uh, the thumbnails. You can use everything I've just told you. Using GIMP is not a huge struggle, so don't worry about it. So anyways, I hope this covers enough. This should be just the pure basics of GIMP. Nothing special. I, I just wanted to make it a little fun for you guys, so just so you know what to do. So that's basically it. If you want another part, just let me know. I'm happy to make another one. This this was fun. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. And thank you so much for the new subscribers. And I'll see you guys next time.